hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Life on the Old Family Farm. Um, as you know, this has been a while since I've released a video. I had a long stretch of late shifts, so that really interfered with my game time and my recording time. Welcome back to the Old Family Farm. Um, if you remember, this was left to us by our grandfather, who was getting up there in age and has moved on and left us the farm. Well, a little bit of sad news. Uh, grandfather actually passed away. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we had his had his cremation and the ceremony and stuff, and uh, he wanted to be buried right here, overlooking the little pond, just south of the farm, underneath the tree here. So that's what we've done. We've honored his wishes, and grandfather's been buried. Um, the upside to that is, unfortunately, if there can be an upside, is he did leave us a little bit of money. Um, he, in his will, there was 10000 left to us for the farm. Um, it was actually it was actually closer to fifteen thousand, but after taxes and everything and the lawyers' fees, it left us with ten thousand. So, good news is we don't have to take out a loan now. But sad news and a very sad news indeed is grandfather passed away and he's now his ashes are now scattered underneath a tree overlooking the little pond. So on that somber note, let's go ahead and get started, everyone. Um, as you can see, we still have five cows. Um, that hasn't changed. Um, you can also notice that my manure piles are small again. Um, it was a mod conflict with another uh, tipping mod. Uh, placeable heaps, I believe it was, was interfering with it. So I, I've deleted that mod out, and it now shows the correct size. The only thing I still can't figure out is actually how to delete piles once I've set them in. Um, and if anyone out there knows how to do that with the alternative tipping mod, please let me know. Because um, I still have that pile over by the cow manure pen that we need to try to get rid of. Okay, let's get in and um, let's start firing up and trying to get these fields fertilized. Okay. And, of course, we don't have a lot. It's not going to get us very far, so we'll have to purchase the slurry tanker as well. Okay, I said I was going to do this series in first person, but unfortunately, I'm afraid that if I stay in first person on this, I'm not going to be able to see the coverage very well in here. So I'm just going to pop out of first, first person on the manure spreading. Um, if that's okay with you guys, then let me know, and we'll continue doing that. If not, and you guys would still rather see me in first person, then let me know and uh, I'll switch back to first person then. So we need to slide over a little bit. Okay. Uh, while I'm on the subject, I really want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, I've been getting a lot of good comments from, from some of you out there. You really like the series, it seems. You definitely don't want to see the series die. Uh, that's good news in my heart because I really enjoyed this map. It's a very nice map. Um, I, I really enjoyed the, the feeling on it. Would help if I get there a little straight. The trees screwed me up. But anyway, again, yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I really do enjoy the map as well. So I'm glad you guys like it as as well. Oh, I said as well, like five times on that one, huh? Gotta excuse me, my body's still not adjusted. Um, I just woke up not too long ago. Uh, didn't go to bed till 4 a.m. my time. Um, actually doing some co-op testing on my server of Seven Days to Die with Taff in Exile. So, we, we were up quite a few hours in that and stuff, so I didn't go to bed till almost 4 a.m. So I've had a couple hours sleep, and uh, I, I knew I wanted to get some videos out for you guys. I know you guys have been eagerly awaiting them. So, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. And with the little bit left I got on there, I'm going to quickly go over the spots I missed. 
and that should run us out and then we can fill up and finish the rest of the field as my OCD won't let me leave these spots in there and we're going to need as much coverage as I said anyway or not coverage much yield as we can get we don't want to lose any yield as we've already got a hard enough time the way it is on this now although we did get that uh, money from our, our grandfather's will we still have the hundred and ten thousand dollar loan that we had originally so unfortunately we didn't get enough to pay the loan off but at least we got a little bit of cash that we can at least continue with the the farm and our grandfather's wishes so that's that's a good thing um, it definitely wasn't enough in any way shape or form to to pay off the loan um, so we still have the loan we still have that that we have to deal with let's go ahead and pull over here and load this manure up okay, let's put it about right there go back in the first person and let's come around yeah 500 liters and let's just pop that out of the way and actually while we're at it let's just hide everything give us an undestructed view Dump. Okay, what's going on? Oh, bad. Am I not over the trailer? I am over the trailer. Hmm, something must be bugged again. Maybe I gotta run that that trailer completely out first. Let's try that not sure what happened maybe something got messed up after all uh, that would be bad if it did so let's quickly just hook back up to the trailer one run, run that little bit out that we have in there not very much and then maybe we can start afresh then not very much in there only 204 liters Maybe that would be just enough to, to get us one stripe. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, maybe a half a stripe. Yeah, half a stripe. Okay, now let's try that again. See if that changes anything. first person and sorry about that with my phone let me just quiet that down there we go my apologies for that now let's see if this will take that manure don't want to hit the trailer okay now let's give that a try Something still not. There we go. Maybe it was just too low and the bucket wouldn't dump. Maybe that's all it was. Okay. Now we're cooking with Crisco again. So let's go ahead and go. Alright. Up. Oh. A little too far there. A kick trying to push the trailer over trying to kick the trailer uh, you gotta everyone's gonna have to excuse me my body in my mind is still not here it was a long long week at work so 
still trying to adjust and I'm not as young as I used to be so it takes me a little longer to recover from those those kind of hours and situations so that was three buckets I believe so that should be 1500 liters in the trailer a trailer that holds 3,500 we got 1500 left on the field so this trailer should take all the pile that we do have then we'll be able to finish this field up for sure um, that pile that we have back there we'll use on that field back there and I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to buy the liquid manure trailer for our old fifth wheel go get some slurry from the pigs and finish that filled up right there and then we can get it all planted and then I think what the some of the next things we're going to actually be doing is moving all the silage into the holding silo and uh, getting another batch of silage going as well now we're not going to have any corn to make silage from but we got lots of grass all over the map that we can use for silage and I think one more will do it and that looks like all we got left is 172 but will we be able to pick it up no because that's that's lowest you can go in that pile that signifies there's a pile there so and on whoa camera where are you going so unfortunately i can't figure out how to delete it let's see release shovel supposedly you're supposed to hit the period key it says the no. I can't. Oh well, I'll worry about that another time. If any of you guys do know how to fix that, let me know. I'd like to delete the one of those piles over there. This pile, of course, we'll leave it there. That way we can always keep manure on the fields for when we're harvesting and, and when we're prepping the fields for the next harvest. So let me come back out of there. Let's continue where we left off. Get this field finished. We'll get Philip planting it. Or seeding it rather. And then uh, we'll continue on to see how we're going to do. Now the trees are probably going to mess me up here again. Uh, not too bad. I'm sure you guys appreciate that just a face full of trees though in your, in your view. Look at that. Lovely mountains out there. And of course, I'm missing again. Bad Michael. And here we go. There's a good view. Whoop, was. And uh, now. So. So that's where we stand. We've got the. How many fields we got? We got these two here, that one there, and that one. So we got a total of four fields that we can prep and harvest at any given time. Um, now that we did get a little bit of money, I don't want to go uh, hog wild with it. Get it? Hog wild? Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Never mind. Sorry. And uh, we could get a few more cows. But I, I don't want to go crazy because the cows are 2,000 each. Um, get just a couple of cows, maybe. But the rest I want to keep for the small equipment that we do need. Um, I know we need the slurry, tr tr the slurry trailer. Uh, I think that was around 2,000, if I'm not mistaken. And... I believe there was something else that we needed. Well, I know we, we're going to need some kind of livestock trailer. 
I know we need some kind of livestock trailer to haul the pigs to, to the butcher. So we'll see how much those are. Um, they shouldn't be too, too much because I believe the the old fifth wheel that we are using, I believe there's a livestock trailer for that. Okay, let's just go pull this guy over the way. Shut him off. Let's run over here. We'll get Phillips started seating. And then we'll look and see what uh, what we can buy. Okay, now we plan it. I believe we plan it wheat. No, we plan it barley in this these two fields here. And I believe we said we we're going to do canola and both of the, both of these. And I think we were going to do wheat over there. Well, if not, that's how we're going to do it now. So we'll get up here, and get started. So we got rape selected. That's good. Now he's only got 46% in there, so we'll definitely need to fill that up before he's finished, I think. Um, let's go auto tractor. It's on auto tractor off, so he'll just do the normal hired help routine. We don't have to worry about anything else. So just wanted to make sure that that was set, not on auto. Let's go ahead and hire him. We'll jump off, let him start. Now, let's come out over here, and let's check the mods, and we need a slurry tanker and the animal trailer we were talking about. Okay, let's take a look what we have. Now, that one is too modern. I don't want to go with that one. That's 14.5. We do have this little Roland that holds three. That one's not really for our era either. What else do we got? Do have this new one here that I downloaded. Um, that's more realistic. I don't know nothing about that one. Then there was this one, too big and too modern. Okay. So let's continue through. Feeding technology. No. Bailing technology. That's new. I got that one for round round bills, and it will stack them uh, horizontally instead of vertically. Okay, no, nothing in there. Loading wagons. Here we go. Okay, we got this one here for two thousand. That will hold sixteen pigs. This is the one we'll probably get because it will go with our tr truck that we have already. And the liquid manure. So that's what I'm saying, guys. There's already 4,500 just for these two items here. But that does mean we'll be able to start hauling pigs. And we'll have both liquid manure and solid manure spreading capabilities. I think that's probably the best way for us to go to continue. And maybe, maybe not get any cows this time. Let's just start trying to get the harvests and stuff up. Get a couple of those small fields because the fields themselves aren't that expensive if we if we look here go to field management i mean the biggest field field one which we already own so we don't need that one Let's see field two is 500 field three we already own so this is what we can get for them if we sell them 200 700 550 see I, the most expensive one guys is looks 700 700 dollars for field seven which is right here so that's probably what we're going to do um I, i'm going to go ahead and buy those two 
manure spreading capability or the the pig trailer the manure spreading capability and then uh buy a couple fields i think that's the best way for us to proceed let's uh let's bring this over here and park it over by this manure field because this is where we're going to need it next on this field over here we'll go pick up the truck we'll run to town we'll pick up uh we'll buy the two trailers we'll, and we'll haul them to their perspective areas and we'll spray that field over there with the liquid pig manure so let's park this truck and our distractor and trailer here we'll shut it off let's run over to our truck hey cows move now you guys are probably wondering why i'm running over there and not tabbing through well i think i think i want to try to make this as realistic as possible i i know it's it's slow for you guys um if, if that's fine with you guys if you like to me to continue in the first person mode and, and hoofing it everywhere then please let me know if you'd rather me just tab through to the vehicles to keep the action going then just let me know that as well i mean i'm happy to do either or um I'm just trying to go off a feeling of what I like to see, and I, I personally like to see someone trying to keep it as realistic as possible. Um, if this is not something that you're interested in, then please let me know. I mean, your comments really do help me out, whether you guys realize it or not. Because if you don't voice your opinions and don't let me know what you're liking what you're not liking, then I can only assume that you are liking everything and continue with it. So please let me know. Okay, let's get rid of that and let's run in here into the store and okay so we want to buy the cattle trailer and the liquid manure trailer okay let's move the pig trailer up to the pig pen we'll, we'll store that there Man, we're already down to 5,000, guys. The grandfather's will won't go in waste. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to back this up underneath the trailer because I can't actually see the trailer. Okay, let's move this to the pigs. Well, it still says his seed's at 46% on there, so either my... Because uh, I've updated the more realistic mod and everything. And they've released new new update for it and all the new vehicles and everything. So I, I've just installed all those and updated those. So either that no longer functions or something, some other mod that I've installed has interfered with it actually using the seed. Now the mod supposedly made it to where hired help does use seeds and fuel. So something is either interfering or something didn't get quite right with the update. Okay. Let's just Let's just uh Let's see where we want to park this. Let's park it right about here. Okay, let's go get the liquid manure trailer, bring it up here, fill it up. Let's just quickly take a look at the pigs. get 17 we can take to the butcher they're at 80 percent productivity they don't have any mixed rations that's something that we can also get as a mixed ration wagon now that we do have silage and everything to make mixed rations but that will definitely deplete us um how much liquid manure we got we got almost 10,000 liters of liquid manure so that should that should hopefully get the the one field done for sure 
I mean, I'm hoping. Can't be too sure all the time. We do have two eggs on us, folks. So let's just quickly drop those off. Like, whoa. Come on, Michael. Get your pack straight. Okay, sold those. Let's get rid of that. Okay. If, if any of you guys out there are, are good at making maps and stuff for this game, send me a message. I'm looking for someone who can actually build the area of Germany that I'm in right now. Um, sort of like how the the uh, Glenmore, Glen I think the map is called. A um, little small Irish one. I, I like it kind of set up off the Google Maps, one for one type thing, of the of the area. What am I doing? We were supposed to go to the store. You guys are probably yelling at me, Michael, stop! So let's go back to the store, pick that up. But I got to talking and forgot what I was doing. But anyway, as I was saying, I, I, I'm looking for some kind of map builder um, that's good with Giants Editor and, and stuff like that to help me create a map um, for for my area of Germany that I'm in. I think that would be very interesting. Uh, I've attempted to start it myself, loaded up Giants Editor and got into it, and I said, you know what? This is way too confusing for my old brain. Uh, this is definitely not something that I would be able to do in, in just a, a couple hours' time. It's something that would definitely take probably months to get right. Um, and if I attempt it alone, it'd probably take me lo even longer than that, probably six months to a year. So if any of you guys out there are good with Giants Editor and, and making maps and stuff, please send me a message. Let me know if you're willing to help. Um, that would be great. I can give you credit for it and, and everything. That that just be, I think that'd be super great if I could get a map for the area I'm on and play it. There. Okay. So he should be getting close to finish seating. Let's get the liquid manure filled up. There we go. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Yeah? Okay, that's good. We're filling up. And we are done. Let's go. So we'll go spread this field. Uh, let me just zip around the pole here. Uh, try not to go through the bushes. All right, we're good. We're golden. Okay. So it gives us 8,000 liters. Now, question is, will that 8,000 liters finish that field that we combined, uh, those two fields that combined into one for the canola? Or will we have to go get the remaining almost 2,000 liters to finish it up? Will that even be enough? So many questions, people. I still haven't figured out why the the help markers keep coming back. I, I don't know what's changed for those to come back. I, I just can't answer that question. I really don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, it looks like Philip is almost done. So let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, that's much bigger spread. Ah. Maybe this is the route we should have went to begin with. It's a much bigger spread. Oh, this is going to be 
great guys okay he's just now finishing missed a tad bit there Let's uh let's let's get Philip started over here now, seating this. Let's run over to him. Uh that that's that's working like a dream, guys. And girls. I'm sure there's some girls out there watching. Didn't mean to alienate you. That's working like a dream, folks. <laughs> that's much better than that little piddly man solid manure spreader we were using. Yes, you can't move it without starting it, Michael. Never claimed to be the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay. We're going to leave this canola. And let's get him started. Good job, Philip. Eleven o'clock. Well, let's just go ahead and finish popping that out of the way. Like the unobstructed view. Let's get this fired up. And away we go. Beautimus. Beautimus. This is gorgeous. Much better bang for our buck with this. I'm glad we, we invested the, the money that we had on this. Almost got it here. Missing a tad bit out there. Now what I'm going to do while I'm on this this side of town, I'm actually going to go back and fill up the rest of the, the slurry that we have and see if we can actually get that last field done over there with that. How are we doing? Whoa, went right through the tree. So we've got, still got 3,000 liters. Let's just get a couple of these spots we missed. As you know, my OCD won't let me do otherwise. Okay, great. Let's go get the last bit of the slurry. And let's hope that it will let us get that other field over there. I doubt it because it's quite large. And uh, we'll probably have to finish it up with the solid manure. Then while Philip is seeding, we might actually take the pigs to the butcher. See if we can get some, some income off of that. Just so you guys know, I believe this is the way the road used to come through. But it got washed out. So they did the bypass road over here now. That's why it's kind of an odd shape coming through town here. It normally used to go right through there. But uh, we got a flood two summers ago. And it flooded this out. Brought these big boulders down from the, the mountains out there. So... They put the bypass through this way. That's why it's kind of encroaching right here on a railroad station now. That's why it's quite difficult to get in and out there. But the road remains uh, more solid and stuff. It's not so ruddy and washed out. Okay. Doing good, guys. Doing good. Okay. Okay, we're 
we'll fill up the remaining slurry here. It gives us just about 5,000 liters. Let's hope that'd be enough to finish the field over there. I see your trailer. Probably just clip that pole. Okay. So, looking at the time, um, we're nearing about 40 minutes in now. So, what we're going to do is we will fertilize that remaining field we have. We'll quickly check about transporting one load of pigs to the butcher. See how that goes. And we'll probably call it a day. So, let's just quickly jump over and get that field fertilized. Philip, careful, don't back into me. The only thing, I mean, this is a great mod. I love this mod with its accessories and stuff. The only thing is, I feel you sit too high up in it, and you can't actually look out the windows anywhere. That's my only negative comment. I wish they would adjust the camera angle down a little bit. Now, I know I could probably do that too with Giants Editor and stuff, but again, that's beyond my capabilities currently. So, let's jump over here. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work on this build. Not, uh, it, it might. Let's, let's see how far we get along. So, let's put it on Auto Tempo 2. Uh, let's see how... It might. It's got much larger spread on it so we might be okay oh. might be okay now don't go into the water there we go Ew, this is gonna be bad but so long We'll be close. Yeah, we might luck out, guys. And girls. Boy, that was way off on that one. It looks like it might be enough, folks. Aha. Uh -huh. I said, folks, you didn't catch me. Ha 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 ha. You guys must be thinking, well, Michael, you are loopy today. What is your problem? It's my internal clock, guys and girls. I told you that. I'm still messed up from the late shift. It was a rough, rough week for me this week. But I'm off for three days, so that should recharge my battery. Then uh, I start early shift on Thursday. It is currently Monday morning here in Germany. So then I start uh, late shift, or early shift rather, on Thursday morning. And I do that, I believe that's for six days. It might be five days. I'm pretty sure it's six days. Then I'll be off, I believe, three more days, and then I will go back to night shift. Well, we got it all, but that was one little bit, folks. Okay, so we've got all the fields uh, fertilized. We've got them almost all seeded. Let's quickly come over here. We'll pick up the pig trailer. Let's just park that here for right now. We'll have to, I'll move these off camera and park them up. Probably should have just took it over to the pigs and left it over there, as that's where we'll fill it up at. But we can use it from the cows as well, though, so. 
I'll get it all parked up off camera. Oh, the seed did drop. It's down to 45%. Or was it? I thought it was at 46. Was it at 46, guys? And girls? Uh, uh. I believe it was at 46%. I'll have to watch the video back and see, but it might have been 45%. I thought it was 46. So if it was 46, it did lose a, use a little bit of it. If not, then I'm just imagining things, which is very, very possible. And let's get this picked up now. I believe we should back up to that gate right over there. And I believe that's where we'll load the pigs up. Those are ready for, for market. Let's get it picked up there. Now let me let me open the back up. And let's back in. Get the tree view out of the way. There we go. They're loading up. Okay, we got 16 pigs, guys. Let's close the back up. Let's take these to butcher. Let's see how how much money we get on this. It's at uh, 48. Let's see how we do. Now I didn't even check to see how much the pig were or was. Um. It's still got the one modifier on it, but the pigs are up this time, so that's a good thing. We should get good, good penny for them. Let's run over. Or drive over, rather. I'm much too large to be running everywhere. Okay, I believe this is the butcher. This is where we sell them at. So let's... Get this up in there. Okay, we're at 4,800. And let's go. Wow, not as good as I was hoping it would be. So what did we get? Uh, about five hundred dollars. Is that it? All we got was five hundred dollars. Wow, folks, that was rough. That was rough. Or is my math way off? It sure seems like we should have got way more than that. But we're at forty-eight hundred, right? That's the case. We only got five hundred dollars for that. Oh well. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. If I'm right, let me know as well. Because <laughs> that seems highly unusual, especially being pigs were supposed to be up with the butcher. Wow. I was really hoping for better than that. I'm completely flabbergasted. God smacked, as it were. Oh, well, whoa, whoa, Nelly. Or hit something invisible there. What the hell did I hit? What am I? Ah, the telephone wires. Boy, that would have took them down in real life. Careful, those wires will get you every time. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave it there, leave it with the pigs. Um, let's quickly just check uh, how we're doing on everything. Let's pop this open and, and pop. Okay, don't have anything else. Um, 
yeah, we're at just over 5,000. We've got one one more field to plant, and then we'll be ready for harvesting soon. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, if, if you did like the video, just give it a quick thumbs up. That really will help me out. Let me know you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Please share any of your thoughts, criticisms, critiques. Uh, that will help me out better as a gamer and as a recorder and as a presenter for you. As I'm, I'm new to this. only been doing it a couple of months. So until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later. You have a great, great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.